Hi, this is Kevin Stolmeyer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a really cool high dynamic range effect inside of Adobe Photoshop Camera Raw. Now, what I have here is two separate pictures. I've got a shot of just some indoor lighting, and I've got a shot with a model over here. And what we're going to see is how you can change your adjustments over here in Camera Raw and really focus in and see using exposure, recovery, fill light, blacks, contrast, clarity, and vibrance, how we can go through and really kind of fake up this HDR. So to start with, I'm going to start with the shot here with the kitchen. And I've already adjusted this for color neutrality. I've gone through and done my white balance, done just a few exposure changes, things like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this look like an HDR photo. I'm first going to take my recovery and crank it up to 100 and my fill light to 100. Now it's going to look a little ridiculous but as we go through each step will make it look a little better as we go along. So what we're going to do is now we're going to take our contrast and crank this up and you can start to see it's bringing back some of the contrast and take our clarity and crank that up and each time we make this step it gets closer and closer to a really high contrast bright vibrant image much like an HDR photo. Then, to kind of tone this back a little bit, I'll take my blacks and start to bring my blacks up. Now, this is a real temperamental adjustment. As you go through and adjust this, I always save this for last because I can really change the mood of this, make this very dark or very light as I go forward. So, as you can see, this looks pretty good from here. If I reset it, you can see that's what we started with, and that's what we ended up with. Pretty decent. So now we're going to try the same technique on a model. So we're going to go through here and take a recovery, crank that up, take our fill light, go to 100 on that, and jump down to our contrast and crank that up. Now, this may seem a little dark, so I may pull my blacks back all the way and maybe increase my brightness. Now, as I increase my brightness, I'm going to pull up my clarity, that brings out the highlights, and then maybe pump just a little more color in with vibrance and saturation. Really gives me that bright look, just kind of pops right off the page. Now. Camera Raw is not the only version that you can do this to. You can actually go through and do this on JPEGs. Inside of Bridge, if you right click or control click on this, you can actually open your JPEGs in Camera Raw. So this is a standard JPEG image. I'm going to take this in and try the same thing. I'm going to pump up my recovery, fill light. Now fill light goes a little bit too far on a JPEG. It doesn't preserve the tonal differences. So I'm going to save that for later bring up my blacks, my contrast, and my clarity. And that's looking pretty good. So I may not even have to go all the way on my fill light, but if I need to make it a little brighter, I'll bring that up last along with the blacks to really give this that pop that really comes along with an HDR photo. So try this sometime when you're working in camera raw or if you have JPEG shots that you want to just try and make a really nice vibrant artistic look to it. Try using it in Camera Raw and see what kind of images you can get with that. Thanks, and see you soon.